So it stands to reason the fewer parts you have on your Porsche, the more expensive it becomes. Until you get to the point where somebody with no Porsche at all walks past a show and they're going to get charged a million pounds. Oh, no, look, hang on, on price, how much is yours? 150,000. How much more is it than an ordinary one? That's a pretty flat. No, how much more is it? Come on, how much more is it than an ordinary one? 26 grand. 26 grand. Well, there you go, for what? Yeah. But quite a lot of people aren't you, Jeremy, so for all of them... Well, as I said in the film, uh, it is a bit stiff. Yeah, and just why don't you tell the ladies and gentlemen how many laps of our track you managed in it before the rear tyres were down to the canvas? It's a very pretty girl over there. She... <laughs> how many laps did you manage of our track before the rear tyres were lunged? Um... Four. How many? Four. 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 <laughs> Four laps of the track. Now, that adds up to 6.8 miles. That works out at £85 a mile just in tyres to run this car. <laughs> How much was that? What? You bought that from a scrap. BBR? Yes. Mine? How much was it? Yes. It's... Uh, what? 100,000. How much? How much? 100,000. 100,000 what? No pounds. £100,000? You spent a hundred grand on that? Mm-hmm. But that's... But it's a... Well, that's... The problem is... Is that I because to, of its provenance? No, I had to build it. The winner of the inaugural Top Gear All India British Hill Speed Climb event is the Jaguar XJS driven by Jeremy Yes. There you go. Right, yeah. Thank you very much. So... Who's that? Oh, God. People of India. Mm. Quite expensive. Top speed of that? Yeah. 151. Mine had to be limited to 155. This is when they introduced limiting. They realised it's too fair fast. Enough, it's enough, a monster. It was enough, limited. Fair enough, because this had the six cylinder engine. It 3. did. 2 yeah, three point two. Yeah. James, I seem to remember this was not that fast. No. What was its top speed? 143. 143. Uh, yes. So not really a performance car. But, oh, what is it? <laughs> what? 80! 80. 80. <laughs> <laughs> They've all got away. There must be like a big gate open on the back and all your horses just got out. <laughs> your car is garbage. Yeah. Really, there really you go. Excellent. Now. And Moving your, on. No, your Mercedes CL. <laughs> My Mercedes, yes, yes. I bought a Mercedes 600 CL. Yes, you did. It's quite interesting, this, because I have a photograph here uh, that I'd like to share with everybody of the Top Gear car park. There, in fact, is, um, <laughs> is Hammond's uh, BMW. Working. And where's your Mercedes? Warm and dry. Now, moving on. <laughs> Tell the ladies and gentlemen why it isn't in that space. I can't remember. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them! Oh, one of its ignition coils has gone a bit wonky. <laughs> Now, it's interesting that you should say that, because I did some research and I found out that the ignition coil for the Nissan Pixo is £138. Mm -hmm. Yes. How much is it for the Mercedes? £878. <laughs> Sorry, did that include uh, fitting? No. No, no. <laughs> did it include the VAT? No. No. <laughs> So what, in fact, was the cost of a new ignition coil for your Mercedes? Twelve hundred pounds. <laughs> Ford did it in one minute, twenty-nine point three seconds. There Very it good. is. It's a good time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. But the Renault. What did it do it in? Oh God, I've forgotten. <laughs> no, come on. Literally, tell us. it was on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Can, <laughs> can I just say, if you're watching this on Sky Plus, welcome. You haven't missed much. Uh, just a crummy Renault driving around quite slowly. <laughs> just tell us what the Renault did it in. 128. One. 128.1! <laughs> <laughs> that clearly then. People go out and steal petrol tankers. Not cause... people, no. We do. We st <laughs> Put it in here. Google Earth will never spot it. <laughs> so, honestly, because if you think about it, 50,000 litres. That's a lot. Of fuel, okay, that would be enough to get your Mustang home. Brilliant. <laughs> well, to Guildford. Yeah, to Guildford, that we could fill up there. No, I'll tell you, it's a brilliant idea. What with petrol being £5.50 a gallon and all the rest of it, what we should actually be doing is giving some advice on fuel economy and saving money. Yeah, unfortunately, that letter was opened by him. <laughs> And I decided the best thing we could do uh, is gather together five supercars and have a race. I'm really tired. 
Read them out. Shall I read no, them out? No one just read them out. I've just read them out. I just, want, I just want to go to bed. OK, no need to do it in reverse order. Do it in the order we went. OK, Audi. Mm. Yes. 22. 22 people took your picture. Is that good or bad? Ferrari. 47 people ah. took your picture. How many flashes? Yeah, you lost. Yeah, you, you, you did. Yeah, okay, that's. <laughs> <You didn't. laughs> Lose three, so that's minus three for JC. Yeah, but then we get to James's jag. James, what did your jag <laughs> do? <clears throat> Eight. Pardon? What? Eight. 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 <laughs> Eight. 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 Eight